Hello, beta. Good evening, everyone. The aim of today's class is to help you understand the difference between 14th and 15th Finance Commission. This is very, very important for all kind of entrance exam. Whether I talk about uh, UGC net, whether I talk about CUET, whether I talk about GATE, whether I talk about IIT entrance exam, uh, for or DEPER entrance exam, for any entrance exam, it is very important that we understand uh, how the 14th Finance Commission and 15th Finance Commission differed. Kya unka difference hai, right? So <clears throat> let's start. This is, I'm going to write down and you're going to write it with me. So 14th Finance Commission and 15th Finance Commission. Right, beta. Now try to see that, first of all, the thing that we need to understand, that is called as income distance. So income distance kya hota beta? Income distance basically tells us how can we differ between states which have higher income versus states which have lower income. Jin states ke paas apni khud ki income bahut zyada hoti hai. The states which have higher income, ideally they will get less money from the center government. But the states which already have more income, uh, which have less income, they will get more money from the central government. So income distance ye batata hai, what is the distance, right, between your income and the state with the highest income. Aapke paise mein aur aapki earning mein aur jis state ke sabse zyada uh, state GST hai, uh, GDP hai, what is the difference between the two? What is the difference between your GDP and the state with the highest GDP? So there is a concept called state GDP. State GDP money, state's income. So what's the difference between your income, your state's income and the income of the state with the highest GDP? Wo hai income distance. So in 14 Finance Commission, 50% weightage was given to income distance. Weightage money, whenever the central government will be transferring money to the state government, jab center government, state government ko paisa transfer karegi, to wo kin cheezo ke basis pe karegi? What would be the factors that central government has to consider? Within those factors, this is the first factor and it was given 50% weightage. But according to 15th Finance Commission, the weightage decreased to 45%. Then the second thing that we have is called as population of 1971. So the 14th Finance Commission, it considered the population based on 1971 figure. Now, Jis bhi state ki population zyada hai. The state that has more population, it needs more money to run that state. But what is the data? Which year's population should be considered? So the 14th Finance Commission was still considering 1971 population of states. And it was giving a weightage of 17.5. Now when the 15th Finance Commission came in picture, it said ki Itna purana population de lene ka kya matlab hai? The population has changed over time, right? So we need to consider the latest population figures, latest census figures. And so therefore the population that was taken, it was of 2011. And according to this 2011, how much weightage was given to population? 15%. 15% weightage was given to population. Now, uh, when we talk about the area, how much area is covered with each state, we find that the area was given 15 weightage, right? Whereas here the area was given still 15 weightage. Now, there is another thing which was introduced by 14th Finance Commission and that was known as forest and cover. So forest and cover was given a weightage of 7.5. Whereas what 15th Finance Commission said, ki, sir, forest ko consider mat karo. Don't consider the area covered by the forests. Also consider ecology of the state. So they came up with a word called forest and ecology. And it was given 10 weightage. Right. Then, beta, we had something which is known as demographic performance. Demographic performance. Right. 
डेमोग्राफिक परफॉर्मेंस ये बता रहा था हाउ इज द इकोनॉमी हाउ इज द स्टेट परफॉर्मिंग डेमोग्राफिकली सो वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट वी वॉन्ट टू गो अड एंड वी वॉन्ट टू रिवॉर्ड द स्टेट जिनका फर्टिलिटी रेशियो कम है राइट right? जिनका जेंडर इक्वालिटी मेंटेन्ड है राइट सो डेमोग्राफिक परफॉर्मेंस बेसिकली टेल्स अस विथ स्टेट हैव लोअर फर्टिलिटी रेशियो विथ स्टेट्स आर एबल टू कंट्रोल पॉपुलेशन एंड वी वर गिविंग अ वेटेज ऑफ 12.5 टू डेमोग्राफिक परफॉर्मेंस दैट इफ यू स्टेट इज मेंटेनिंग डेमोग्राफिक परफॉर्मेंस यू विल गेट मनी फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट देन देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज टैक्स रिपोर्ट अब क्या सोचा गया कि अगर हर बार ही सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्टेट को पैसा देगी then state will never take an initiative to work or to collect its own tax it will always think theek hai center to de hi raha right so we want to we want to not create a disincentive to collect your own tax hame ye nahi chahiye ki state apna khud ka paisa collect hi na kare we don't want that so we want to reward the states with higher tax collection efficiency right we want to give reward to those states who have higher tax efficiency right so we went ahead and we said okay we are going to give a weightage of 2.5 and this 2.5 is going to be on uh, the basis that if you take effort to collect tax in your state we will reward you to ye center uh, ka weightage 2.5 is the weightage that we are assigning to tax effort while transferring the money from center to state if you are taking effort in collecting the tax am i making some sense to you okay now just one point is left huh try to understand beta ki jab protein finance commission tha unhone bahut important point rakha ki you know there are it may be the case that a particular state has its own population but there is migration that takes place just for example personally i was living for some years in bangalore right when you you go and you live in another state what will happen basically you are increasing the population of that state right in such cases that state needs money to cover your expenses also matlab pani extra chahiye na बिजली ज्यादा जनरेट करनी है ना यू नीड टू यू नीड टू डू मोर एक्सपेंडिचर वेन देर इज मोर पॉप्युलेशन सो समाइम्स द पॉप्युलेशन इन अ स्टेट इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज देर इज माइग्रेशन फ्रॉम अदर स्टेट इंक्रीजिंग द वेटेज इंक्रीजिंग द बर्डन ऑफ दैट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इन सच केसेस वॉट वी सी इज दैट there must be some weightage given to the latest population figure also so two things protein finance commission said bol to ki we need to give weightage to old population to show that you know that is the original population of that state but with time there have been multiple things that have taken place one the population might have increased because of more births less death rate more birth rate and secondly there might have been migrations that would have taken place into the state increasing the burden for that state government us state ki government ke liye burden badh jayega wahan pe migrations ho rahi hain baki states se so we need to give weightage to the latest population figures also right so what they did is they give a gave a weightage of 10 to population figure of 2011 theek hai bachche now let's add this out तो देखो ध्यान से जरा वेन आई एड दिस आई विल एम आई एबल टू गेट हंड्रेड एज दी आंसर लेट्स जस्ट सी सो सेवनटीन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फिफ्टीन फोर्टी प्लस वन फिफ्टी प्लस फिफ्टी हंड्रेड हंड्रेड परसेंट वेटेज कवर्ड ये फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन थर्टी फोर्टी एटी फाइव एंड हंड्रेड ये हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द वेटेज कवर्ड so in both the cases the 100% of the weightage is being covered so this is how uh, we had the difference between the weightage of 14th versus 15th finance one more thing i want to highlight beta in 13th finance commission from center to state jo pura tax pool tha jo uh, tax jo wo taxes hote hain jo center aur state mein divide hote hain 
the center was giving 32% of the taxes. It was sharing 32% to the state. Then under 14th Finance Commission, this increased to 42%. Center had to share 42% of the taxes to the, with the state. And then under the 15th Finance Commission, from center to state, the tax devolution was 41%. So you need to remember these figures also. 32%, 42%, 41%. Right, beta. Thank you.